Feeling overwhelmed by all the different ways you can organize your notes in Obsidian? You have things like the Zettelkasten method for taking connected notes, the pair method for organizing notes based on actionability, and all these other frameworks and strategies, when in reality, all you need deep down is a simple, personal space to take notes and think. Fortunately, after spending over a thousand hours experimenting with these strategies, I've finally ended up with what I call the ultimate minimalist vault. An obsidian setup that contains only the fundamental essentials for using the app to its full potential. So, in this video, I'll be going over the plugins, themes, folders, and note-taking strategies I use and implemented into this vault. I was going to charge money for it, but today is a special day, so I'm giving it to you for free, and you can download it in the description. So, you might be asking, what does this vault look like? Well, here it is. It might seem similar to the default one you get when you first open Obsidian, but just bear with me as I explain the nuance of this vault. And to do so, I think the first thing we should cover is the most customizable part of Obsidian, the plugins. So if we head to settings and open up community plugins, your first thought might be to maybe install a plugin like Hider that can hide different parts of your vault to only have what you use. See, I can just disable different things like so. But let's think about it for a second. There was this video I watched from this Buddhist monk about why they shaved their heads that kind of changed my perspective. He says that when you have hair, you give yourself more responsibilities and things to think about. You have to worry about how you're going to style it to look good, worrying about shampooing it to keep it clean, and worrying about buying the right products for hair maintenance. So by having more plugins, we experience something similar. We have to worry about developers maintaining the plugins. We have to worry about new updates that can disrupt the functionality in the vault. And we have to worry about shiny new object syndrome, where we are unsatisfied with the plugins we have, trying to look to wait for new ones that can potentially fill our need. This means less time spent on using Obsidian, which means less time spent taking notes. This is why I have no community plugins installed in the ultimate minimalist vault. And I've kept this. Instead, I only have the default ones enabled in core plugins, which are the ones you see on screen right now. So once the functionality of our vault is minimalist, we can now look at the appearance of it. But wait, you've been seeing the default theme the whole time, and you might even be screaming at me through the screen, telling me that there's literally a theme called minimal. Why not use that? It's in the name, it's minimalist. You do have a good point, but let's take the same reasoning for plugins into account. Why do we need to put on new decorations in our vault? Are our ideas not beautiful themselves? This is why I keep it on the default theme. All the functionality still stays the same. So now that we have Obsidian as a whole minimalist, we can now start considering our philosophies and actual content inside our vault and how we can keep that minimalist. And the first thing to take note of is folders. In the minimalist vault, we need to ensure that these folders actually have meaning and are essential to our organization. You're probably familiar with structures like the pair method where you store notes based on actionability to keep what's most important at the top of your mind. Projects for things that you're actively working on areas for responsibilities in your life, resources for potentially useful things, and the archives folder for things you no longer need. But then at the same time, there's also structures like ACE, where you can organize a type of context notes are in. So your Atlas folder would have all your knowledge-based notes, your calendar would have all your time-based notes, like your daily notes and weekly reviews, and your efforts notes would have all your project notes and output based notes like creative work. But let's just think about it. What is our main goal in Obsidian? I think it's just simply to take notes. And if you distill the essence of what all of these notes contain, they all contain ideas and words. So why should we differentiate them? 
This is why, in the Ultimate Minimalist Vault, I've decided to not use any of these folders. Let me just delete all of them and just use the root file system. This gets rid of any unnecessary complexity and just lets our notes shine brighter than ever. Okay, now that we have the foundation of our notes figured out, what about the notes themselves? Do you think it's a good idea to make a bunch of notes for different ideas? This might be controversial, but I think we should only have one note in our Obsidian fault. Think about it. When you have multiple notes, note two, note three, and you have different content inside, with these different notes, you now have to put more effort into navigating to each one to try and find it. But if you had them all just in one note, just like so, everything can be in one place and you could easily just search and see it right in front of your eyes. Now, obviously there's gonna be criticisms like what if you had one million words? How is that all gonna fit and be organized in one note? Here's my question for you. Why do you need these one million words? Do you feel like those words are essential to the ideas and thinking you want to facilitate in your obsidian vault? Obviously, the answer is subjective and based on personal preference, but I would say no. Instead, I would want to have as little words as possible. And that is what ultimately leads me to this fault. This is perfection. This is the ultimate environment where I can truly think and grow my ideas. And if you want to start using it, you can download the link in the description, but you better act quick because this only happens on this special day. Who knows, maybe by tomorrow, April 2nd, I'll have it deleted. This has been John Maverick. Stay mindful.